So if we're going to talk about the chatbots and the different flavors, let's tackle the NLP or the AI artificial intelligence based chatbots first, because they are, like I said, the ones that get the most press. They are the most impressive and they have a lot of people talking about them. NLP or AI chatbots are learning based. And what that means is they use machine learning or deep learning, natural language understanding, NLU techniques to filter through masses of data and learn how humans communicate. If you've ever uh, chatted with Alexa or you've chatted with the Google Assistant or anything like that, you will have talked with one of these types of chatbots. They have platforms like Google Dialogflow, IBM's Watson, uh, Amazon's Lex, Microsoft Lewis. A lot of different, uh, the, all of the big players technically are looking at providing the services for other companies to be able to use their AI based natural language processing bots. One of the major drawbacks of these bots is they need a huge amount of time and data to learn because they are trying to understand the complexities and the nuances of a human language. Another major disadvantage to them is they can easily get confused. They, all, they still have to not just learn human language, but they have to be able to interpret that language in context. And if you really mess around with them a little bit, you can get them confused in a heartbeat. Even if you don't intend on getting them confused, it's pretty easy to get them off track to get them to where they get lost. Now, all of the well-developed or well-designed NLP chatbots have an escape feature which says, okay, I don't understand what you're doing. I'm gonna connect you to a human. That's fine, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a chatbot because you're still going to need as a business, a human being, a resource, to respond to the customer's need. A lot of people think these AI bots are the more sophisticated cousin of a chatbot. They work really well for companies that have a lot of data. And although they take a lot of time to train initially, they do save a lot of time in the, in the long run. There is an ROI on them. They basically learn from the information that they're gathering. So every conversation they have gives them more input, gives them more the ability to train themselves to be better. They're continuously improving as more and more data comes in. and they understand patterns of behavior. Uh, you have a wider range of decision-making skills than any person that could, could possibly deal with that. Over time, they get to be very sophisticated. And above all, they're multilingual. So it's not necessary that you uh, have to develop a, uh, chat, a chatbot in German and in English and in French and in Chinese in order for it to be effective. 